Hello, Katherine. Hello, teacher. How are you? So, so. Why? No había luz aquí, acaba de venir. Bueno, qué suerte, ayer. qué suerte que ya vino. Gracias a Dios. Desde ayer no tenías luz. Desde las seis y media que se oh fue. Oh, my God. Bueno, pero qué bien que ya llegó la luz, mira, que me alegra un montón. O sea, sí. que ayer, ayer todo tu domingo sin luz. En la tarde, ah. ya para dormir. Ay, señor. Bueno, ya es ni que... modo, obligado. ¿eh? varios árboles por aquí. Oh, por el, por el tormentón de ayer. Sí. Sí, sí, es que eso estuvo fuerte. Eso estuvo fuerte. Pero bueno, qué bien que ya volvió la luz. Dijo, bueno, ahí viene Teacher Nati. <risa> ahí voy, dijo la... la luz. Sí. Sí, dijo, no, la educación primero. <risa> <risa> bueno, que me alegro. ¿Qué tal pasaron sus vacaciones? Hello, Christian, welcome. Hello, Leti. ¿Qué hicieron en sus vacaciones? ¿Qué tal la pasaron? Ajá, Catherine, cuénteme. Bien, gracias a Dios, en casa, <ríe> descansando. Eso es bueno. Ni Mr. Christian que hizo en su vacación. Eh, pues aquí en casa, teacher. Está bien. Ahí nada le pasa. Aquí, cabal, terminando pendientes que siempre hay en la casa. Siempre, siempre. Siempre sale algo que hacer, algo que arreglar, algo que mover. Siempre hay. Cabal. Y con el diario. Es... No se puede a veces a diario, más con el trabajo y todo eso. Sí, es de, en definitiva sí, hay que aprovechar. Ya va. Hay que aprovechar eso, muy bien, gracias, Cristian. Hello, Edwin. Letty, how are you? How was your vacation? Hello, Antonio, welcome. Mr. Steven, and for sure. Gracias, Buenas noches. Welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here. It's a pleasure to see you after almost seven days. Did you practice your English in these seven days? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Practicaron en estos días que no lo vi. Oh, ni se acordaron de la teacher en todos los siete días. Hmm. Y ya en el tagada usted y nada que se acordó del inglés. Pero... Bueno, sí, cuando decía, oh my God, oh my God, que ya se iba a caer. Ay, chicos. Well, we are going to practice today. We are going to practice and for sure we are going to do our best to, uh, to go back in track, right? It is difficult when you have uh, classes and then vacation and classes because you are like, ah, ¿Qué? ¿Qué dijo? After vacation, it's very normal that you will feel kind of lost because it happens, right? It happens that in some cases, when uh, you are on vacation, you don't practice. And then when you come back to classes, you are trying to remember everything again. But we're going to do our best to have you practicing, okay? So... What do you remember from the last class we started? What was the topic of the last class? Uh -huh. What was the topic of the last class? Uh -huh. That's the, I don't remember, moment. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, my piernito. What was the topic of the class? ¿Qué vimos la última clase? Ajá. Nos quedamos pendientes con el calendario. Exactly like that. Ajá. You were creating the calendar, right? You were creating a calendar with your group and you were doing different dates and activities for the calendar. Okay. And for sure, 
I remember the group, right? I remember the group and I am going to make it back because we are going to use it. Okay, somebody is sick today. Okay, Catherine is sick today. Okay, so we are going to work on the calendar. And we are going to advance on that one. What we are going to practice on the calendar, let me share my screen with all of you. What we are going to practice on the calendar are simple questions. Okay. Let me share it with you. Here we go. <clears throat> And here I go. These are the questions that we're going to practice. The first question that you are going to use is this one. Are you free on August? And you tell me the number. August 10, 9, 7, 6, 20, 21, 22. The number that you want. And you are going to say, for sure, if you are free that day and you don't have anything to do. So you say, yes, I am. Yes, I am. I am free. I am free. What do you want to do? That is the first part, okay? If you don't have anything on that day, right? Si no tienen nada en ese día, you say, yes, I am. I am free. What do you want to do? But what happens if you have an activity that day? You are going to say, um, I am sorry. I'm sorry, I am busy that day. I'm sorry, I am busy that day. And then you can give me the activity that you are going to do. I am going to, and then you tell me the activity, okay? Because you have different activities in the calendar. If you have, for example, here, sus amigos en el grupo van a ver clase y nosotros hasta adelantado ya que we say we are waiting for you ok el amor vea ya ven por eso no se enamoren en vacaciones There you go. I am going to send the link to your friend. Just give me a second. Ahí está. There you go. Thank you. Thank you for your help. So, we have here. If you have an activity on the day of the calendar that I am going to ask, you are going to say, I am sorry, I am busy that day. I am going to, and then you tell me, I am going to uh, visit my mother. I am going to visit my mother, visit the dentist. I am going to go to a concert. I am going to go to a concert. A concert. A, I am going to clean the house. Or any activity that you have in the calendar, right? Any activity that you have set there. Okay, cualquier actividad que hayan puesto ustedes en el calendario va a ir aquí, en esta parte donde les he marcado ahorita. And I say, for example, here. Okay. okay, there you have. 
I am going to, and then you say the answer. Okay, let's practice. Practiquemos la pregunta. Are you free on August 2nd? Are you free on August the 2nd? Are you free? Second. Okay. Here, that's that's something important. That the first numbers in August, for example, August first is the primero de agosto. August second is the two, and August third. Okay, es bien común que ocupemos los números ordinales para referirnos a estos primeros tres. And then you can say August 4, uh, August 5, 6, 7, etc. Right? But the first three are very common that you say August 1st, August 2nd, and August 3rd. Okay? Then you can continue with the normal numbers. Okay? Are you free on August 2nd? And you say, yes, I am. I am free. What do you want to do? And then you invent whatever thing. Ah, I want to go to the movies. I want to go to, sh I want to go shopping. I want to go, uh, I don't know, to the beach. You invent something. But what happens if you have an activity on the calendar? I'm sorry, I'm busy that day. Repeat with me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am busy that day. I am busy, I am busy that, day. that day. I am going to visit my mother. I am going, I am going to, to visit, visit my mother. mother. I am going to go to a concert. I am, I am going, going to go to a to concert. concert. I am going to clean the house. I am going to clean house. I am going to go shopping. I am going to go shopping. Say, I'm going to go shopping. Say, I'm going to go shopping. I am going to go shopping. Very good. So, let's go back to the calendar. Let's go back to your calendar. Vuelvan a sus calendarios. Que me imagino que los ordenaron así bien bonitos. Los hicieron bien lindos en una página aparte. ¿Verdad que sí? ¿Verdad que sí? Se te echar, se te echar, mi amor. Ok, so let's go back to your calendar. I am going to go back to the groups. I am going to go back to the groups because eh, here I have them, ok? I have one group. I have one group here with, let me see, let me see. I will have the two groups, okay? I remember that in group number one, in group number one, I had Antonio, Jose, Joanna, and Alma Dalila. Antonio, Joanna, Jose is not here, okay, Alma Dalila. Alma Dalila tampoco. Oh my God. Okay, and in group number two, I have Christian, Catherine, Catherine Solórzano, Leticia González y Tatiana Galeas. Christian, Catherine, Leticia González y Tatiana Galeas. Janet is not here. And Ilse was not in the group as well. Christian, Janet, Catherine, Elizabeth, and Tatiana. So I am going to include, I am going to include, let me see, Ilse in this group, and I am going to include the other ones here. Okay, let me see. Okay, I am going to invite these two and I am going to move okay so I have the, the two groups ready I am going to have room through room two and room three so check on the calendars check on the calendars and try to 
set into context with what you have. Okay? Traten de revisar los calendarios que tienen o los días para que vean más o menos este, cómo se van a ubicar para que vean si todos tienen al menos actividades en sus calendarios. Okay? So I am going to send you to the groups okay, for you to check that right now. Accept my invitation to go to the groups, please. Leti, ¿te llegó la invitación para unirte al grupo? No. Ok, déjame te muevo ahorita. Ok, Ilse, ¿qué pasó? No te puedes unir al grupo. Ok, la tía, déjame te envío la invitación de nuevo. Me dice si te salió, Leti. Eh, no sé por qué me, se sale de ahí. Ok, espérate. Voy, Leti. Quiero ver. Te voy a enviar una y no la aceptes. Hasta que te salga a unirte al Room Tree. Ahí sí la aceptas, ¿ok? Vaya, míreme. Dime. Pero fíjese que antes de que, que nos hubiera así en grupo, no la entendí muy bien que dijo porque se me estaba como cortando. Ah, ok. Estamos revisando el calendario que hicimos en la última clase. No sé si, si te conectas a la última clase. Entonces. No, lo, no. Ok. Entonces lo que estamos haciendo es un calendario y en el calendario pusimos diferentes días con diferentes actividades. Entonces lo que vamos a hacer ahorita es revisar esas actividades. Ok. Si las tienen, vos más o menos puedes ir viendo las que tiene tu grupo para ubicarte más o menos en las actividades que tienen y tener una idea porque no creo que lo logres hacer tú sola ahorita. Así uh -huh. que, eh, por eso les iba a mandar al grupo, para que vieran lo que habían hecho sus compañeros y se pudieran ubicar en, en, en lo que vamos a hacer ahorita. ¿okay? Vaya. Ok, ahorita te mando al grupo. Hola, Giovanita. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Te, salió, ¿Te saliste del grupo? No, no, no. Es que estaba en otro grupo, pero no sé qué pasó. Espérate. Te voy a... Ok. Te voy a enviar una invitación al grupo 2. No la aceptes hasta que te envíe la del grupo 3. Ahí sí. Ok. Vaya. Ahorita te tuvo que haber salido la del 2. Uh -huh, ahorita. Dale que no. Y ahorita te voy a unir al 3. Vaya, en esta sí, aceptarla. Vaya, Leti. 
Hoy sí, te voy a mandar una invitación ahorita que te va a salir del grupo 2. Dale que no, que no la quieres aceptar. Y cuando te salga la del 3, ahí sí. Hoy sí. Ok, Katherine. No te salió la invitación al grupo. Hola, teacher. Hola, ¿te salió la invitación al grupo? Eh, sí, a dos, parece. Sí, no te uniste. Eh, no. Vaya, le voy a, te la voy a enviar de nuevo. A esta dale que no, porque te voy a unir al tres. Y de ahí Bye. te regreso al dos. Bueno. A la del tres, decirle que no. Ahora te voy a mover al dos. El dos es tu grupo. Acepte. No te llegó, Katherine. Hello. Pichar el micrófono. Y esas son las respuestas que vienen en el examen. ¿Las anotaron? Se la di todo. trampa. Yeah, my, my computer, my connection and everything I are not helping. Ok. No, ya ven. Yo les di las respuestas del examen, lo siento. El micrófono estaba apagado. Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I was telling you that eh, many of you had difficulties to connect. Que habían muchos que tenían dificultades para meterse al grupo, para conectarse y todo. Mejor me los traje a todos de regreso. It's better. We are going to work here. And we are going to work on the calendar. Okay. 
So we're going to work on the questions that we were practicing. Here you go. There you go, there you go. The questions, okay? I need you to ask each other, okay? You are going to ask each other. Try to ask people who were not in your group, okay? Try to ask someone. And the person is going to answer with the activity. I am going to start. Okay, voy a empezar yo con uno de ustedes. Y de ahí usted le va a preguntar a alguien más y alguien más a otra persona y así. Nos vamos a ir. Si tienen su calendario, pues ocúpenlo. Si no lo tienen, invéntense una actividad. Y sí que sí voy a estar libre, si no voy a estar libre. Okay, so I am going to start with Antonio José. Antonio José, are you free on August 22nd or August 22? Uh, yes, I am. I am free uh, August 2nd. No, 22nd, 22, 22, ah, 22. 22nd. 22. Uh, yes, I am. I yes, am I, am, I am free. Yes. What do you want to do? What do you ah, want to do? Me preguntas a mí. What... No, no, no. Ahí me dices, ah. yes, I am. I am free. What do you want to do? ¿Qué quieres hacer? Uh, what do you want to do? I want to go to Olocuilta to eat pupusas. Do you want to go with me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, ahí le mando un Uber. Ah. <laughs> so, let's see. Thank you, Antonio. Let's see. Catherine Elizabeth, are you free on August 28? 28. Mm. Mm. Si no, me decís esta de aquí abajo. I am sorry. I am busy that day. I am sorry. I am busy. I am going to y me decís que vas a hacer I am going to go play with me kids like... you are going to play to play with my kids ok, no, that's very important so you have to stay home Okay, eh, a jugar con los niños that day. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Eh, Tatiana Galeas. Are you free on August 10? Yes, I am. I hey. am free. Uh, what do you want to do? I want to go shopping. Yeah, I need a dress. Do you want to go with me? Yes. Okay, very good. También le mando Uber, don't worry. <laughs> good, very good. So I have two people that are free. Let me see. Mr. Mr. Christian Ramos. Are you free on August 25? Uh, yes, I am. I am free. What do you want to do? Okay, I want to go to the movies to watch Oppenheimer. <laughs> yes. It's okay. It's okay with you. Yeah. Can you go with me? Yes. Okay. También le mandamos Uber. Thank you, Christian. Very good. Joanna, are you free on August 6th? Ya pasó, pero anyway. I'm sorry, I'm busy that day. What are you going to do that day? I am going to cook with my family. To cook with your family. Very good, right? To cook with your family. Okay. Can I go? <laughs> ¿Le puedo llegar ahí? ¿Me invitan? <laughs> Only with the family, <laughs> 
<laughs> Just family. <laughs> okay, Leticia Gonzalez. Leticia Gonzalez, are you free on August 8th? Are you free on August 8th? Uh, I am sorry, I am busy that day. Busy, I am busy that day. Busy that day. What are you going to do? I am going to. I am, I am going to um, go to the dinner my family. Oh, to go to a dinner with your family. Okay, okay, I accept. Thank you very much. Anyway, thank you, Mr. Edwin. Are you free tomorrow? Hola. Are, uh, hola. Are you free tomorrow? <laughs> August eighth. Uh -huh, so you say, I'm sorry. I am busy tomorrow. Sería la segunda respuesta. I am sorry. I am busy tomorrow. Okay. I am sorry, I am busy tomorrow. I am going to? Uh, I am going to go on vacation. You are going to go on vacation? Uh, tomorrow? Bequechi? Uh, hay, hay que darte días libres en el trabajo. Okay, so ayer, de, hoy termino la vacación y mañana de vacación. Yeah, me gusta eso. I am going to be on vacation. That's very nice. Okay, now I need Ilse make a question to uh, Leticia Ortiz. <clears throat> Leticia, are you free on August twenty-five. Eh, I am sorry, I am busy today. I am going to. I am going to clean the house. I am going to clean the house. Yeah, that's very important. Okay, Leticia, ask Janet. Janet, are you free on August second? Uh huh. August number two. August two. ¿Qué tiene para el 2 de agosto en el calendario, Janet? Andy. ¿Qué? So you say, I am sorry, I am busy that day. Entonces le respondes, I am sorry, I am busy that day. I am sorry, I am busy that day. I am going to work. I am going to work. I am going to work. Aquí la teníamos. I am going to, I am going to work. work. To work. Okay, good. Janet, ask a question to. Let me see. ¿Qué me falta? To Catherine Solarsan. No, 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 no. So the question is, are you free on, y aquí le pones, cualquier día del mes? Are you free on August 2nd? August 2nd, Catherine? Are you free on August 2nd? I am. I am free. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? ¿Qué quieres hacer, Janet? I want to go, y tenés que decir a algún lado, I want to go shopping, I want to go to the movies, I want to go to the beach. Anyway.
Okay. I am back. Okay, I am back. Gracias a mis amigos de Tigo por ese internet tan lindo que me han dado. I am back, my dear students. Oh my God. Sorry. Okay, you say, ah, vacation. No, I am here. Ya volví. Nada de vacación. I am here. I want to thank Tigo for this beautiful internet that I have. I don't know why it's not working. Well, welcome back. So, <clears throat> that's the way we use the calendar, okay? That's the way we use the calendar. That's the way we work on the calendar. When you say, excuse me, are you busy on this day and you want to set up uh, dates or activities with people, right? If you want to establish an activity with someone, you say, hey, are you free that day? Are you free on this day? And people are going to answer yes or no according to their activities, right? Así que ahora ya saben cómo invitar a alguien a hacer algo. Are you free on Sunday? Are you free on Monday? Are you free tomorrow? And then the person is going to say, yes, I am, or no, I am not. And then you can invite them to do different things. And you say like, what do you want to do? I want to go shopping. I want to go to the movies. I want to go to the beach. And then you can establish different activities with people. Okay. So before these things continue ruining the day, Antes de que Tigo me vuelva a arruinar la clase. I am going to keep sharing my screen. Okay, I'm going to share my screen with all of you. And we are going to work. Okay. The screen is loading right now. Okay, so here we have the quote of the day. Can you help me to read it, please? Me ayudan todos a leerlo. La frase del día. Go ahead. The future uh -huh. of the world, future of the world is in my classroom today. The future of the world is in my classroom today. What is the meaning of that? ¿Qué significa eso? El futuro del mundo está en mi salón ahora. Exactly yes. like that, right? The future of the world is in my classroom today. Why? Because you are doing something different for you to improve your life. Okay? Ustedes están cambiando su vida. ¿Con qué? Con todo lo que hacemos cada día. Con todo lo que estamos aprendiendo. The future, future, right? The future of the world is in my classroom today. That's the phrase of the day. The future of the world is in my classroom today. That's the phrase. So we are going to work a little bit on uh, this activity that I have here. I need you to write the ABC in your class, in your notebook. Write the ABC on your notebook. Write the ABC on your notebook. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Write the ABC on your notebook. Todo el alfabeto, de la A a la Z. The ABC on your notebook. Write it on your notebook. Okay, and let me know when you finish. Okay, write all the ABC in your notebook. Do you have it?
Okay. ¿Terminaron? ¿Ya lo escribieron todo? From the A to the C. Yes. Yes. Okay, so what you are going to do is that I am going to give you time for you to write a word for each letter, okay? Le voy a dar cinco minutos for you to write one word with each letter. Tienes que escribir una palabra con cada una de las letras. Esas que están ahí ya no valen porque ya se las puse yo. Okay, no quiero angel teacher with A. No, because angel fue el ejemplo. Here you have angel, buy, cat, donut, elephant, flower, green, and house. Esas ya no se valen porque ya las puse yo de ejemplo. Okay, so I need you to write one word per each letter. Five minutes on the clock, starting right now. Five minutes, go ahead. Five minutes, one word per each letter. Una palabra por letra. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. One word per each letter. Five minutes. One word per letter, one word per letter. I love to see you very busy. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Four minutes. Four minutes, nine seconds. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. One word per letter. Three minutes, 30 seconds. There are some that are very easy and some others are very difficult. Two minutes, 59 seconds. Two minutes, 54. Two minutes, 53. Two minutes, two minutes. There you are. One minute thirty. One minute thirty to finish.
One minute to finish. Un minuto, un minuto. I love your faces when you know the words, right? En las, las palabras que se sabían rapidito. Y de ahí llegaron a las que no me acuerdo. <laughs> Okay, 40 seconds on the clock. Go ahead. Thirty seconds. Teacher, solo era una, verdad? Por only well, if you want to write more than one, that's perfect, right? Si quieres escribir más de una. Excelente, aquí tengo a varios que todavía están peleando por llenar una. <laughs> if you want to write four, that's perfect. Perfect, perfect. Four, three, two, one. Stop. Stop. Ok, stop. Si no la llenamos, no la llenamos. That's it. Right. Anyway. Let's see. Give me examples. Examples with the letter A. Examples with A, con la A. A. Give me examples. I said angel. What about you? Answer. Answer. Very good. Give me more examples. All. 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 And. And. Animal. Animal. Very good. Airplane. Airplane. Good. With B. Book. Book. Very good. Uh -huh. With B. Blue Give me boss. the word. Blue. Boss. Beautiful. Bird. Birthday. Good. With C. Baby. Baby. Right. With C. Car. Car. Cherry. Cherry. Cook. Cook. Great. Cool. Create, good. Create. What else? No. With B. Door. Door, very good. Different. Different. Done. Done. Difficult. Difficult, very good. With E. English. English, very good. English. Excellent. Impossible. Excellent. With E. Expossible. <laughs> no, with E. e Impossible. E I. No, es que ese impossible. es I. Ese es I. Con la I, esa es la impossible, yes. Pero ahorita vamos con E. Ahora vamos con la F. With F. Friends. 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 Oh, Food. Food. Face. Fantastic. Love. Flower, good. With G, G. Good. 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 Great. Great. Garden. 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 Garden, good. Game. Game, very good. With H. With History. H. History, very nice. Home. Home, Home. house. Uh -huh. Hello. Hello. Happy. Now with I. I. Hoy sí, la I. De puntito. Internet. I. Internet. Impossible. Impossible. Import. Import. Ice. Ice. Ice no va con I de puntito. Va con E. Iguana. Iguana, right? An Iguana. That's good. An Iguana. With J. With J. Con J. With J. Jeffrey. Job. Justice. Job. Job. Very good. With K. Corn. Corn. With uh, corn, maybe the band, right? Tal vez la banda de rock. Porque corn del que comen es con C. Okay. So that's good, right? Koala, very good. Another one, okay. 
Kite, kite, kite. Right? King. And Kate, Kate, the name, right? Kate. Let's see, with L. Leo. Lion. Lion. Love. Little love. Very. Lie. Lie. Lady. Lady. Lemon. Very good. Lemon. Very good. A lot with L. M. With M. More. More. Mystery. Mystery. Monkey. Mystery. Monkey. Mon okay. Monkey. Monster. <laughs> Mathematics, right? With N's. Nurse. 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 Nice. 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 Very good. Let's see. With O. Orange. Okay. What is it in the next one? Orange. Orange. Right. Orange. Open. Very good. Open. Very good. With or. Or. Right. Or. The next one with P. Purple. Purple. Premium. Premium. Very good. YouTube. Premium. Physical. Physical. Very good. Por algo que nunca pagaría. YouTube. Premium. Physical. Very good. With Q. With Q. Con Q. Question. Question. Very good. Question. Wing. 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 With R. R. Rice. Rice. Rose. Rest. Rose. Rest. Red. With S. Small. Small. Okay. Small. Store. Snake. Snake. Good. Simple. Good. Simple. Single, very nice. Single with T. Tuesday. Tuesday. Transformer. Hi. Transformer. <laughs> very good. Time table. table. Very good. Timetable. <laughs> with you. With you. Umbrella. Umbrella. Okay. <laughs> Universe. Umbrella universe with V with V with V visit visit visitor Vibes. which one Vibes. okay by uh, vibrate right vibrate vibrate violet violence my bed bed visit right visit bed very good Let's see with W. Con w. w. Window. Window. Very good. With Y. War. One. Y. War. Okay. War. One. Wind. Very good. With a uh, Y. With Y. Con Y. Your. Yours. Young. You. Yesterday, yesterday, yellow, very good. With X, uh huh, with X, X ray, X ray, <laughs> very good. And with Z, zero, zero, very good, zero, zebra, Song. okay, yeah. zoom, <laughs> zoom, zoom. 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 Right, zoo, where all the animals live, right? Zoo. Very good job. You did an excellent job with the alphabet. Ah, very good job. Excellent. So I am going to call the attendance. Les voy a pasar lista, okay? Remember, when you listen to your name, say here or present, okay? Give me a second. Okay, musicón salvaje ahí. <laughs> I will I will open my attendance right now and remember when you listen to your name say here or present let me just open this and here we go it's because I changed my computer and this one is slow slow 
the other one was beautiful. Okay, let me see. Okay, I have it here. People, did you advance on the platform? ¿Tuvieron el chance de avanzar en la plataforma? Did you finish it? Yes. Okay, good, 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 good. Very good. That's really important, right? To advance on the platform and to finish it because we are about to finish the module, right? Ya casi terminamos el módulo, el 14. Así que tenemos bien poquitos días para eh, hacerlo. Okay, so please... I need you to finish. Ah, me fue muy lejos. Okay, here we go. Today is the eighth. And here we go. Alma Dalila. Hey, Alma Dalila se me fue de vacación. Alba Leticia González. Present teacher. Thank you. Antonio Jose. Present teacher. Cristian Mauricio. Present teacher. Evelyn Janet. Present teacher. Janet Tatiana Galeas. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Heriberto Reyes. Está vagando, anda de vacation. Catherine Elizabeth Romero. Present teacher. Catherine Lisbeth Solórzano. Present teacher. Leticia Magdalena Ortiz. Present teacher. Thank you. Ilse Marlene. Present teacher. Ok. Esto es de picar. Luz de Jesús. Aquí está la parte 2 de. ¡Yani! ¡No dijo bien! Aquí está la parte 2 de. Ok, espérenme, vamos a ponerle mute aquí a mis chicos que me están contando toda la historia. Let's continue with Joanna. Present. Thank you very much, Joanna Mariel. Excellent, my dear students. Thank you for the ones who are here on time, all the time. And for the ones who got vacation, thank you very much as well. Okay, hay algunos que se me fueron de vacation todavía. Extendida la vacación. <laughs> let's go back here and let's share the screen. Let me give you, let me share it back here. And we're going to continue, right? Remember that we were working on the different dates of the calendar, right? And we are going to work here on the screen as well. Let me see, okay? So this is what we have. This is what we were doing on the previous class, right? We were working on these type of questions. We were working on the conversations, the information questions, the yes, no questions, and the questions with WH, right? Se recuerdan que estuvimos trabajando las preguntas con WH, when, what, why, who, etc., right? That's what we were doing. But <clears throat> today we also work on the information questions, right? And I wanted to share something with you, right? We work on the agenda, right, as well, and the time. We remember that we studied the clock already, right? When, when you say, for example, what time is it? It's 1.08, it starts at 11, right? And the different ways to tell the time. In this case, we are going to work on this part here. Okay, let me just, okay, keep this one. We are going to work on the questions, right? We are going to work on the questions and we are going to use what time do or does the person uh, use it. There is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? And here we say, it starts at nine. What time does or do? What are we going to, to use in this case? If we are talking about the recruitment of new employees, this is an activity, 
right? There is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? So in this case, the most appropriate will be what time, what time, sorry, what time does it, what time does it start, right? Let me make it a little bit bigger. Lo voy a hacer un poquito más grande para que lo puedan ver. Uy, muy grande, pero it's okay. What time does it start? ¿A qué horas empieza? It starts at 9 a.m. Okay? It starts at 9 a.m. And in this one you might say, teacher, why did you use does? ¿Por qué le puso does, teacher? Y no le puso do. Porque estamos hablando de a recruitment of new employees. Esta es la actividad de la que estamos hablando. There is a recruitment of new employees. And this is singular. This is only one activity. So that's why we use does. Because it says it. Si se fijan aquí, dice it. What time does it start? So you need to use does. Porque estamos hablando de it in this case. In this other question, question number two, it says, let's meet for the meeting on Wednesday. Great. You arrive. What are you going to use in this one? Si tenemos you. Do. Ajá, pero como pondríamos entonces, what time? What time do you arrive? What time do you arrive? Because we are talking about you, right? What time do you arrive right and you have it right here what time do you arrive i arrive at 8 15 in the morning what about the next one and it says the photocopy center tomorrow i have to go to the photocopy center me too the photocopy center open what are you going to use there what i do what i do what time? Okay, the photocopy center. El centro de copias. Esa casa. Eso. What, what time, time do, does? What time does? So here we have what time does because you are referring to the house. Right? What time does the photocopy center open? It opens, y aquí tienen tercera persona, si se fijan. It opens at 6.50, right? It opens at 6.50. And here we continue. Number four. Wendy, do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? And here we have restaurants, plural. Yes, I do. What time do? What time do restaurants close, right? Here we go. What time do restaurants close around 7 25 p.m okay so in this case we can use the two different forms of questions with do and does if i ask you for example what time do you arrive to your office what is the answer what time do you arrive to your office ¿A qué hora llegan a la oficina? What time do you arrive to the office? Revisen los ejemplos y me pueden, se pueden dar la respuesta. Depende el ejemplo que tenemos ahí. What time do you arrive to your office? Arrive. I arrive. I arrive at seven. I arrive yeah, at seven. I arrive at 7 a.m. Very good job. I arrive at 7 a.m. What time do you arrive home after work? What time do you arrive work? Uh, no, what time do you arrive home after work? ¿A qué hora llegan en casa después del trabajo? What time do you arrive home after work? Oh, all right. And right at 1 p.m. At 1 p.m. A la una. Qué chivo. 
At six. five. At five or at six. Ah, okay, it's not that cheap anymore. <laughs> okay, at the five or six. Yeah, and then at six, y a las seis ven el reloj y dicen, ah, oh, teacher Nati, a las siete. <laughs> And you say, I have only I have only one hour to do everything. Okay. So, what time do you go to bed? What time do you go to bed? What time do you go to bed? ¿A qué hora se acuestan? What time do you go to bed? I go, I go to bed at 9 p.m. At 9 p.m. As soon as I finish the class, you go to bed, right? Otra que diga 901. Yeah, hay que se cierre la sesión. Que se cierre la sesión, pero yo me duermo. Sueño de belleza. Okay, I go to bed at 9 p.m., right? At 9 p.m. Good. What time do you eat dinner? What time do you eat dinner? Uh -huh. At dinner. night. I eat dinner. Uh -huh. I eat dinner uh, at uh, at nine. Okay, at nine o five. Bye, chicos. <laughs> As soon as I finish the class, you bite the bread, right? Ahí tiene las pupusas listas, solo de comer a las nueve y dos de la noche. Okay, that's good. That's nice. It's nice. Okay, I, I accept it. I accept that you eat after class. You can eat during the class, okay? Pueden comer durante la clase. La cosa es que no apaguen la cámara. Pues, por un lado. They're like, whoop, and then you eat, and then, ah, you come back, ha, <laughs> ha. The final Hazlo question. Ya, yeah, la cosa es que ustedes pueden estar ahí. Solo muevan la cámara un poquito, pues. No, por eso no me no, a las 7, porque a las 7 casi llego yo. Oh, my God, Janet. Oh, my God. So, you arrive very late. Solo me quedan 15 minutos para cocinar. Oh, my God. My goodness. My goodness. Bueno, hay que hacer la que hizo mi madre con nosotros. Pues ya como a los 8 años yo ya cocinaba, así que... Teach how to cook. Bueno, niños, se me hacen ustedes sus pancitos. <laughs> And then you go to work. Okay. The last question. La última. Amanda has to take some reports to many departments on Monday. And they open. They. Plural. What time? What time do they? What time do they open? Very good, because it's plural, right? What time do they open? They open around 7.30 or 8.05, okay? They open around 7.30 or 8.05. I sent you a picture on WhatsApp, okay? Les mandé una fotito al WhatsApp porque la van a ocupar. And we have at, in, and on. What is the difference between these three? Okay, we have the different... Eh, ok, this one is what we did on the calendar. Estas fueron las que hicimos en el calendario, las actividades. Ok, and what are you going to do tomorrow? When is your next meeting, etc. We have at, in, and on. What are the uses of this? Ok, esos a veces nos confunden y nosotros decimos on the morning, in the morning, at the morning, y no sabemos cómo ocuparlas, right? So, it is kind of complicated, but In this one, we have the three different things. And on the picture, you have more examples, right? On the picture, you have more examples. Estos se usan para dos cosas. Para tiempo y para lugares, okay? Usamos at, in, and on para tiempo y para lugares. How do you use it? For the time, you say in, right? You say in May. In 2018, in the summer, in the morning, okay? Here you have the three, the well, the four different forms of how to use in. And you say, in May, in 2018, in the summer, in the morning, right? On, when do you use on? 
So you say, on Saturday, on January, on Monday, on Wednesday. Okay? No me pueden decir, in Saturday, in Wednesday. No, say, on. On Saturday, on Monday, on Wednesday. And at, you use at, for example, at 2.30, at noon, at night, at midnight. Okay? Al mediodía. So you don't say in noon, on noon. Right now you say at noon, at night, at midnight. Okay? So these are the three forms. And on the picture that I send you on WhatsApp, ahí les mandé una fotito al WhatsApp. And you have more information. And it says, for example, with months, you use it with months, like in March, in April, right? In May. With years, in 1995, it says, in 2018. With decades, you can say in the 90s, in the 70s. You can also use it with this. Let me see if I can open the picture here. Le voy a compartir la foto también aquí en la pantalla por si no la pueden ver en su WhatsApp ahorita. Déjenme just stop sharing. You can check it. Ahí la tienen en su WhatsApp. La voy a abrir aquí. Okay. And here I go. Just for you to check. And for you not to confuse, okay? Para que no se confundan en el uso. And here I have another one. And the picture that I sent you on WhatsApp. Okay, ahorita se las comparto también aquí. I have three different pictures. Okay. If you can check it there, that's perfect. Okay. Okay. I am going to open it right now. It is very slow. So meanwhile, it loads. There you have the different uses, right? For places and for times. And for sure for locations, right? Here, let me see if it opens. Ooh, very, very slow. So let's go back to the WhatsApp thing. And we also have, we use it for centuries, for parts of the day. For example, you say in the morning, in the afternoon, right? You use in also for these specific things. And we also use it for periods of time. And you say in three weeks, in three days, right? In a moment. Right? You can use it for that purpose as well. And you can also use in for specific places. How do you say in cities? You can say in Madrid, for example. For countries, in Spain. And for close spaces, you say in the kitchen, in the bathroom, right? In the living room, you can use it for specific places as well. The use of in. Let's go with on. On, you use it for days, right? You use on for days and you use on as well for, let me share it with you right here. Here you are. Okay. I have another one here for a specific times, right? I wake up at seven. You use it. I wake up at seven. That is for specific times. 
she returned home at midnight. Okay. So in this one, when you want to say at a specific time, you use at. Okay. In a holiday period, everyone seems happy at Christmas. Everyone seems happy at holidays. Here you have what I was explaining, lo que les explicaba, on for days of the week. We will visit you on Wednesday. I will return to my country on the 27th. The next one, we get together on Christmas Day. Okay, so there you have the other example. For months, you say, my birthday is in January. For years, America was discovered in, 19, in 1492. For seasons, I always go to the beach in summer. For a period of time, it will be ready in 20 minutes. Life was different in the 15th century. Okay, we never know, but maybe it was different. Esas son décadas, in the 15th century. In the morning, I go to the gym in the morning. In the afternoon, I often feel tired in the afternoon. In the evening, I study English in the evening. No todos nosotros. At night, I like to read in bed at night. So this is the use of at. And on is for uh, on plus a day and a part of the day. We will have a party on Friday night. Okay. You can use it to be more specific. On con el día y la parte del día. I will have a party on Friday night. On Sunday morning, for example. Or flight leaves on Monday morning. Those are for very specific things. So this is another form of how to use the prepositions of time at, in, and on. Pero si se fijan, también son prepositions of place. And on, for example, you use it for surfaces. On the wall, on the table. On Bell Street, on Fifth Avenue. So those are four prepositions of place. On a large transportation. On the train, on the bus, on the plane. Okay? Those are four places, right? On, at, in, on puede ser preposiciones de tiempo y preposiciones de lugar. Por eso les envié la foto que tiene los dos, las dos imágenes para que también la puedan estudiar. At is for public locations. I am at the airport, at the store. For common destinations, at home, at school, at work. Uh, for addresses, I am at Salvador del Mundo. For meeting points, at the bus stop, at the corner. And for events, at the concert, at the party. So there you have it. You have the, the image as well on your WhatsApp. So it's going to be very helpful. So according to this, okay? ¿En qué casos ocupamos on, según el manual? Days and specific dates. Specific day. yeah. On Saturday, on January, on Monday, on Wednesday. In. May. In May, que son los meses. In 2018, con los años. In the summer, con las the estaciones. Summer, con las estaciones. In and in the morning, specific times of the day. And at, at 2.30, horas específicas, at noon, at night, at midnight. Okay. Here we have a little email, right? Here we have a little email. And we are going to work on this email. We are going to work on this email and you are going to work with a couple. Van a trabajar en parejas. And you are going to complete the email with at, in, and on. Okay? That's what you are going to do. It. You are going to complete the email with at, in, and on. Here you have, hello, Fatima. And there you go. It is not very difficult. It is not a very difficult task. We are going to do it in couples. Lo vamos a hacer en parejas. Okay? Let me stop sharing here. The email, it's on your WhatsApp. Okay, ya se los envía WhatsApp. And here I am going to recreate this. One. Here we go. 
accept my invitation and complete the paragraph. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Did you receive the invitation? Hello. Janet? No, do you? <laughs> Who are you? Yeah. Hello. Who are you? Janet, no, te llegó la invitación para la para el el room. Yo. Sí, pero no le puse. <laughs> Espera, te voy a ir a, te voy a mandar de regreso. Ok, espérate. Ok, te voy a mandar de regreso aquí. Al... Te la voy a mandar otra vez. Ok, there you go. Accept my invitation, please. Thank you. Thank you, Janet, for accepting my invitation. Okay, so students are working on the paragraph and they are going to complete this activity with at, in, and on. According to the different uses. Let's go and see how they are doing. Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi. How are you doing? ¿Cómo le va? Um, este... Solamente en la última creo que tenemos mm. dudas. Ajá, uh -huh. which one? Ajá, uh -huh. sí, tenemos duda en la otra. Eh, no, sé, no sabemos si poner al principio, bueno, hablando aquí entre todos, eh, pensamos poner in, donde dice be with me, be in, March, y uh -huh. en la otra ponerle on, Sunday. In March, Estaría on bien, Sunday. Así. Ok. Eh, in that, that case, right, you have a month, right? Tenemos un mes ahí. ¿Qué ocupamos con los meses? On. Eh, on. 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 In también. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ocupamos cuando tenemos los meses solos, es in. Right? Uh -huh. Say, it would be in March. In on March. Sunday. Y Porque on para Sunday. los días ocupamos on. It would be in March on Sunday. Okay. Oh my God, ¿qué es eso? ¿Qué es ese ruido? Es una gallina guinea. Ah, ok. Sí. It will be in March on Sunday. Ok. Practice paragraph, please. I will come back in a moment. Ya vuelvo. Practice the paragraph. Practice, practice. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Hello. 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 ¿Qué me van a preguntar? Eh, luego de, de la palabrita corner. Ajá. Oh, hay first, uno, ¿verdad? First Avenue, ajá. Okay. First Avenue, first la avenue. primera avenida. First Avenue. Ah, uh, First Avenue. En Main Street, en ajá. En Main Street. No, What do you think? Palabra. There is another first, passage, presentation. First, first, la primera. Eso significa la, el uno con la ST es first. First. Ajá. No, first, no, first, first. 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 Avenue en Main Street. Main Street. What do you 
Main, Main street, street es la calle principal. Main Street. Uh, Main Street. What do you think? There is another presentation. But, but it will be. It, it will be. In March on Sunday. Very good. And I can that day. Let me know. Bye bye. Okay, you have it. I will come back in a moment. Ya lo tienen, ya lo tienen. Practice the reading, okay? Practice the paragraph. Hello. Did you finish? Yes. Yes. Okay. No problem with any of them? No tuvieron problema con ninguno? No, ya la estuvimos revisando y, y, y los dos llegamos a la misma conclusión que, es, que, que los que hemos colocado. Ok, good, very good. So, let's go back. Con la, con la uh -huh. pronunciación, sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. con, con la pronunciación, este, eh, la, ahí donde dice very interesting, ahí cómo se pronuncia. Interesting, very interesting. It sounds very interesting. It sounds very interesting. Another one? Eh, también, eh, un, until. Until, until. Until. The next one? Eh, creo que solo eso. No oh, sé. Eh. Ajá, Christian, questions on pronunciation? Christian. Después de, dice, de, de six, on the cor ah, corner. Ah, on the corner of First Avenue. On the corner of First Avenue. And Main Street. On the corner oh. of First Avenue and Main Street. El, el uno, ¿cómo lo pronunció? Perdón. First. 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 Yes, first. Porque es la primera avenida. On the corner of First Avenue. En Main Street. Avenue. First Avenue. Yes. Ok, so let's go back to the main room. Volvamos al salón principal. Vámonos. No. Okay. Let's bring everybody back. Okay, welcome back. Welcome back. I have two people now. Los que ya terminaron rapidito. So here we go. Okay, tell me, what is the purpose of the email? ¿Cuál es el propósito del correo? What is the purpose of the email? Hello, everybody. Welcome back. What is the purpose of the email? ¿Con qué propósito envían ese correo? Uh -huh. What is the purpose of the email? ¿Cuál es el propósito del correo? Una presentación de un nuevo producto. Exactly like that, right? The subject is the purpose of the email, the new product presentation. Who is sending the email? 
Who is sending the email? Uh -huh. Fatima. Fatima, right? Fatima is sending the email. And who is going to receive the email? Mary. Mary, right? Mary is going to receive the email. Good. So let's complete it, right? Let's complete the email. And it says, <clears throat> let's go here. And let's write it on the text. Hello, Fatima. Are you busy? On. 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 Are you busy on? Oh, my God. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product meeting that, that the company is offering or is launching? There is a presentation about it, and it, sound very, it sounds very interesting. It starts... At, 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 at 6 30. I work until 5 45, but I can meet you at, 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 on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. What do you think? There is another presentation, but it will be in, in March. Um, on Sunday. Um, it will be in March on Sunday and I can't that day. Okay? It will be in March on Sunday and I can't that day. So, listen to the pronunciation. Listen to the pronunciation. It says, Hello, Fatima. Are you free on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product that the company launches? There is a presentation about it and it sounds very interesting. It starts at 6.30. I work until 5.45, but I can meet you at 6 on the corner of 1st Avenue and Main Street. What do you think? There is another presentation, but it will be in March on Sunday, and I can't that day. Okay? Go with me. Hello, Fatima. Hello, Fatima. Hello, Fatima. Hello, Fatima. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Are you busy, busy on Monday afternoon? Busy, busy. Busy. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? I'm busy on Monday afternoon. Do you know about the new product? Do you know about the new product? That the company launches? That the company launches? Do you know about the new product that the company launches? Okay. Do you know about the new product that the company launches? There is a presentation about it. There is a presentation about it. And it sounds very interesting. It starts at 6.30. It starts at 6.30. I work until 5.45. I work until 5.45. But I can meet you at 6. But I can meet you at 6. But I can meet you at 6 on the corner of 1st Avenue and Main Street. But I can meet you at 6 on the corner of 1st Avenue and Main Street. 1st Avenue. 1st Avenue. 1st Avenue. 1st Avenue and Main Street. And Main Street. What do you think? What do you what think? You what do you think? There is another presentation. <laughs> There's another, another presentation. presentation. But it will be in March on Sunday. Oh, but it will be in March on Sunday. And I can't that day. Oh, and, I can't I can't that day. day. and I can't that day. And I can't that day. 
Okay, now we are going to do something, right? I need to, okay. I am going to do something here. Yeah. I will make two different spaces, right? I will make this space and this space. So, Christian, you start and Catherine Romero continues, right? Christian va a ser la parte verde y Catherine la parte roja. Questions on pronunciation? ¿Tienen preguntas todos antes de empezar el ejercicio? Do you have questions on pronunciation? Uh -huh. Steven, tell me. El, de, el que va a empezar en rojo va a empezar en I work. Ajá, uh -huh. I work. Aquí. Okay. Para hacerlo aquí va legal, va. Ah. Para que no digan que media frase, que no sé qué. Ok, I work. Ahí va a empezar. Thank you, Steven. Very good job. Ajá. Uh -huh. Questions on pronunciation? Teacher. Eh, Donde está el color rojo. Ajá. Se pronuncia on, on the corner. Cor on the corner. Of on the first. corner first. Ok, on the corner of first, aquí, espérenme. Ah, ok. On the corner of, y sería este, first. Ah, ok. El, el número uno, con la letra ST, y ahí vamos a meter un poquito de los números ordinales. El número uno con la letra ST es primero, pero en inglés, o sea, first. Las últimas dos letras de la palabra son las últimas dos letras de su forma escrita. Entonces, por eso tenemos el uno con la ST. First, ok, eso significa, first, ok, any other question? If not, let's jump, si no brinquemos a la practicada. Listen for the last time, ok, les voy a leer por una última vez antes de que ustedes lo lean, ok, me voy a silenciar a todos para que escuchen. Hello, Fátima. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? No quiero busy aquí, ni bikey, ni, ni busy, okay? Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product that the company launches? There is a presentation about it, and it sounds very interesting. It starts at 6.30. I work until 5.45, but I can meet you at 6 on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. What do you think? There is another presentation, but it will be in March on Sunday. And I can't that day. Let me know. Bye bye. Okay. Christian and Catherine. Action. Hello, Fatima. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Do you know about? about? About the new product, about the new product that the company launches. There a present special about it, and um, it sounds very interesting. Interesting. Start, interesting. Interesting. Start, interesting. <laughs> it starts at six thirty. I work until 5.45, but I am can meet you at 6 on the corner of Phil, First Avenue and Main Street. What do you drink? Where I am not there. Presentation boy. It will be in March on Sunday, and they can say they let me go. Bye bye. Okay. Uh, good, very good. Okay, claps for your friends. Very good job. El esfuerzo, el esfuerzo. Yeah. Del aplauso del artista. Yeah, very good, very good, very good. There is another presentation. There is another presentation, but it will be in March on Sunday, and I can't that day. Let me know. Bye bye. Okay, the next couple, Antonio and Ilse. 
Antonio en Ilse. Ok, recuerden a su pareja porque vamos a hacer aquí una votación. Antonio en Ilse. Vamos. Um, yo sería entonces el verde. Perdón. Yes, este es el verde. Ok. Ok. Hello, Fatima. Are, are you busy on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product to the company Lauchers? There's a presentation about it and it's so very interesting. It starts at interesting. It starts at six uh, thirty. No, thirty. 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 Okay. I work until until. 5.45 but, but I can meet you at 6 on corner of Pierce Avenue and Main Street. What do you think? There is another presentation but it will, but it will be in March on Sunday and I can take And I can that day. Let me know. Bye bye. Okay. <clears throat> There is another presentation. Let me know. Bye bye. Uh, the next one. We all. Can you just like if you can listen to me? See, me pueden escuchar. Deme like. Si me pueden escuchar. Okay, good. So. Are you busy, right? Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product that the company launches? There is a presentation about it and it sounds very interesting. Very interesting, okay? Joanna and Edwin, vamos. Okay. Hello, Fatima. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Do you know about it, the new product that the company launches? There's presentation about it and it sounds very interesting. It starts at 6.30. Okay, thank you. What do you think? There is another presentation, but would I will be in March on Sunday and I can that day. Let me know. Bye bye. Okay, let me know. Bye bye. Very good. Very good. Clap again for your friends. Very nice. Good job. Good job. Remember, uh, but you say but. Don't say but. You say but it will be in March on Sunday and I can't that day. Okay. Good job. Very good job. Let's continue with Tatiana and Leticia Gonzalez. Hello, Fatima. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product that the company launches? There's a presentation about it. And it sounds very interesting. Interesting. It is interesting. interesting. It starts at 6.30. I go until 5.45, but I, can, but I can meet you at sit on the corner of Fields Avenue and Main Street. What do you think? There is another presentation, but will be in March on Sunday, and I come that day. Let me know. Bye bye. Very good job. Nice, nice, very nice. Interesting, right? Interesting. Leticia Ortiz and Catherine Solorzano. Vamos. Leticia Ortiz and Catherine Solorzano. Hello, Fatima. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Do you 
know about the new product they the company launched their presentation about it and it sounds very interesting. It starts at the I work until 5.45, but I can meet you at 6 on the corner of Pierce Avenue and Main Street. What do you think? There's another presentation, but it will be in March on Sunday, and I can that day. Let me know. Bye-bye. Excellent job. Very good job, Catherine Sellers. I know. Excellent job. Very nice. Janet and the teacher. Go ahead. Janet, tú, tú inicias. Vamos. Hello, teacher. No, no me pongas el reto. Vamos, vamos, vamos. <laughs> Hello, Fátima. Are you good on Monday afternoon? Do you... No. I want the next product that's the company. Launches. 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 There a presentation. About there is a presentation. Very present about it and it. So very interesting. In a star at six thirty. Six thirty. Six thirty. Six thirty. Six thirty. Thirty. Very good. I work until five forty-five, but I can meet you at six on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. What do you think? There is another presentation, but it will be in March on Sunday, and I can't that day. Let me know. Bye bye. Good job. A clap for the group of Janet and the teacher. Yay. Who did the best job? Uh huh. ¿Quién lo hizo mejor? Let's see. Who did the best job? It was Christine, Christian, and Katherine Romero. Claps for that. Yay. No. It was Joanna and Edwin, Antonio and Ilse, Tatiana and Leticia, Leticia and Catherine, or Janet and the teacher. Uh -huh. ¿Por quién number vota? one. Uh, number one, number one, dice Cristian. Vamos a ver, a ver. <clears throat> ¿Quién hizo mejor? Cristian y Catherine, Joanna y Edwin, Antonio y Ilse, Tatiana y Leticia, Leticia y Catherine, o Janet and the teacher. Ah. Uh -huh. ¿Por quién vota? Joana y Edwin. Joana y Edwin, Christian says. <risa> Me llega que votan, votan por usted mismo. Nepotismo. <risa> That was good. Yo All pienso que todos, teacher. Everybody did a good job. Very good. Everybody did a good job. Important pronunciation things. Interesting. Interesting. Launches. Presentation. Presentation. I can't. I can't. Busy. Are you busy? Are you busy? Do you know about the new product? Do you know about the new product that the company launches? Launches. There is a presentation about it. And it sounds very interesting. Okay. 5.45. 5.45. 5.45. 6.30. Right? 6.30. You need to remember the use of the different days. Okay? So... We are going to work on the last thing, right? We have different definitions and it says, in this case, 
We have work with a partner. One is A and one is B. Work with the words from page 37. Right? We are going to work on the words from page 37. Ya vamos a volver a la página 37. Page 37. Let's go back here. Work on the words on page 37. And work on the words from page 38. Unscramble the words and describe them. What type of job do you think is this one? What type of job do you think is this one? Here we have three different jobs. Three different jobs. What jobs do you think they are? ¿Qué trabajos creen que son de los que estamos hablando aquí? Let's go back here. Por aquí los tenía. Ajá. Chan, chan, chan. Look at this one, ok? Veanlo bien. Veanlo bien. And let's go back here. Let's go back to the page. What are the jobs? Production. Ah, very good. You have the first one, production. What is number two? Conversation, I got it. <laughs> Conversation, no, that's not. Purchasing. Purchasing, good. Purchasing. And number three? Human resource. Human management. resource management, very good. So here you have the first one is <clears throat> production. Purchasing and human research manager. What does people from production do? Do you remember what do they do? From purchasing and from human resources? Do you remember what do they do? ¿Se acuerdan qué es lo que hace cada uno? No. Yo creo que ya estaban pensando en la vacación cuando les di esa clase. Let's go back to the definitions. Aquí están las definiciones. Don't worry. I will take you back. Okay. What does production do? ¿Qué hace producción? Here you have the definitions. Purchasing and human resources. Esas tres nada más. Production, purchasing, and human resources. Production. Uh -huh. they, they will design new or improve existing products okay. or process. Okay, empecemos con la fase. Human resources, what do they do? And production control and supervisor the production for for an inventory. Okay, production controls and supervises the production workforce and inventory. What about yeah. purchasing? ¿Qué harán los de compras? Purchasing, uh, develop, design new, own um, employee existing. Ah, no, no, no. Bye. Bye. Ajá. Bye. Bye. ¿Qué Bye. hacen los de compra? Bye. 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 Bye.
Ya, ya vi, ya vi. Mucho lo revolcó el majahual que me le sacó el inglés de la cabeza. Uh, uh, human Resources recruits and selects the, and train the new employees for the company, right? They recruit, select, and train the new employees for the company. In production, in production, in control and supervision, controls and supervise the production workforce and inventory, right? There you go, right? So that's what they do. That's what they do. The three of them. What do purchasing do? They buy because that's what they do. Okay, good for the exercise on vocabulary. Let's go to the last page of unit three. Vámonos a la última página. There you go, of unit number three. Here we have uh, the next three that are research and development. What is the next one? Mar. Marketing. 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 And the last one? Coconut, you would say. <laughs> finance. Aha, uh -huh, finance. What is the first one? Accounting. Accounting Maybe. and finance, right? Accounting and finance. Let's go back here. Okay, volvamos aquí a la primera. Let's go back to the first one. Accounting and finance. Okay, so we said that for sure. What does accounting and finance do? Um, money, 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 yeah. money. Keep the financial record association. Okay, it keeps the involving. financial records of oh. transactions. Transaction. Transactions. Involving monetary inflows and outflows. What about uh, marketing? Marketing. Uh, uh, develop. Ah, este es Antonio y él necesita tal cosa. What is marketing? <laughs> develop the site. Develops and designed new or improved uh -huh. existing products. And research and develop, they research, right? Research, yeah. research, and identify what customers want and need yeah. at the right place. So those are the definitions. People, always go and check the manuals, right? Vayan a darse una vuelta y por los manuales ahí a repasar lo que vimos, porque ya vi que la vacación me los trajo un poco así como, ¿qué pasó? Uy, ¿qué pasó? So please, my dear students, tomorrow we are going to start unit number four. It's the last unit. Tomorrow we start the last unit of the book. So please download it. Si no la han, si no la han descargado, descarguenla. Porque mañana iniciamos la unidad número cuatro. So I hope everybody has finished the platform. Okay, espero que todos ya hayan terminado la plataforma. Porque igual vamos a hacer revisión de la unidad tres y la cuatro. Okay. Have a beautiful night, my dear students. Ya le voy a robar un minuto a los que se duermen a las nueve y uno. A cenar. Ya, a cenar, Antonio. Bye, teacher. Bye. Have bye. a wonderful night. See you tomorrow, my dear students. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. bye. Good night. Bye, bye, bye. Have a good night. Good morning. Good morning, teacher. Come on. <laughs> hey, hey, si me los dejo afectados la vacación niño good night have a good night no me gusta <laughs> bye bye